Hello and welcome to this special edition of Cisco Book TV. I'm Mark Bernheimer. Today's topic is Cisco's culture, specifically Cisco's community culture. Giving back is a big part of what Cisco is all about, but how far back does that culture go? All the way to the beginning of the company. Uh, Cisco always comes true and always does a really great job. On a cool, windy morning, close to 200 Cisco employees got a day off from their regular jobs to come here to do a different kind of job. Today, they'll prime and paint this elementary school in East Palo Alto. But this isn't just any school. Costaño's school is the place where Cisco's volunteer culture was born. This is looking great, you guys. Thank you so much for coming out today and volunteering. Woo! Looks awesome. Excellent, thank you. Maggie Larson was there to see it happen. Back in February of uh, 1989 when I joined Cisco, there were only 50 employees at Cisco and we were working in the building right across the street. And um, every day when you'd look out through the, through the windows, you would see the parking lot here where the kids would be playing, um, the school grounds where they'd be out playing for recess, and these buildings right across the street. And um, one of the things that we noticed very quickly is that it was getting colder outside and a lot of the kids didn't have jackets to wear. And it was raining sometimes and they didn't have shoes on their feet. So when the company was small like that, we would just send an email out to everybody that was um, working at Cisco and ask them to bring in any small jackets that maybe their kids had grown out of or some shoes that they'd like to donate to the shoe drive. And that's kind of how things got started um, in partnering with Cisco back in the early days. It started out climbing over the fence to Castaño School, but uh, it's, it's grown far beyond that and has touched uh, thousands and thousands of students throughout the world. Cisco has donated more than $500 million and thousands of employee volunteer hours to innumerable charitable causes globally since those early days. Close to home, Cisco's partner is the nonprofit Hands On Bay Area, which helps Cisco marshal its employees in volunteer efforts. Cisco's a fantastic partner. I have worked with Cisco for a really long time. I've worked with hundreds and hundreds of Cisco volunteers over the years. And the Cisco volunteers are dedicated and hardworking and they bring their A-game every time they come out. We appreciate this. The teaching staff has looked forward to it. Of course, we're going to be the talk of the district right now with our, new, with our newly painted school. Work continued through the morning. And in addition to prepping and priming, brought back some memories. I went third, fourth, fifth, and sixth grade here at Castaño. My brother went here. This was his kindergarten class right here. It's really fun coming back here. You can go home again. And uh, we're very proud to have you all here. During the lunch break, Cisco VP Rich Goldberg surprised Castaño's principal with the announcement of manpower and equipment to redesign a network upgrade for the whole school district. I thought that would bring a smile to his face, and it did. That's good. This is just a mon monumental uh, uh, offer and, and generosity and your time that we certainly accept and appreciate with all our hearts. The thing that perhaps I'm most proud of is the intangibles that we've been able to donate in our outreach projects. Not just that they have technology in the building, not just that they use technology, but how they do planning, how they set goals, how they measure goals, all of those things, the attributes that are inbred within our company. The Human Network Campaign may be about how Cisco's technology connects people, but at Castaño School, it's also about people helping people directly. I feel really strongly about being here and giving back to the community. It's part of the culture and it's part of who we are is to give back. I feel like it's great because it brings us all together to do something for the greater good. You know, we know, we can look, it's tangible right here. You can see the improvement immediately and we're working together to make this happen. Thanks for joining us for this special edition of Cisco Book TV and a look back at the beginning of Cisco's culture. Check back soon for new episodes. And don't forget to let us know how we can make Cisco Book better for you.